तो सीजन अभी मैं क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करते हैं फाइंड द मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द एरे ओके व्हाट इट मींस कि देयर विल बी वन एलिमेंट इन दिस एरे व्हिच विल बी ग्रेटर देन n/2 सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट एलिमेंट एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न दैट एलिमेंट ओके सो देयर आर मल्टीपल अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स सी व्हाट अदर इज अप व्हाट अदर अप्रोच कुड बी द वन थिंग इज दैट वी कैन शॉर्ट दिस एरे सिंपली and after that we can count the elements and the other technique is we can do the hashing in the hashing we simply mark every element what is the number of elements and we can iterate this mm-hmm. but the thing is that ki the complexity will become we go n for some reason so what is the naive approach that we know sorry the best approach is that we can do moore's algorithm there is a step so in moore's algorithm what we do we select candidate or element first which could we can mark here as minus 1 and count as g so what we do initially we just iterate through the array and we start counting so initially what we used to do initially we see if count is 0 so we make the candidate that number for example if initially count is 0 so we make candidate as 1 and count as 1 okay so if there are in the, uh, there will be one again else so there we will see if candidate is equal to the next element so we will just increase the count simply and there will be the third loop which will show that if this element is not matching the candidate so it means we need to reduce this count so we'll reduce count for example here is 2 so candidate will be still 1 but count will become 0 so in next term when we will come here we will see first if count is 0 if count is 0 then we will make Uh, candidate as this element. So next turn count will become one, but candidate will become three. So in next term again three 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 matching, so count will become two. Again there is two, so this count will become one and still candidate is three. So when we come here again three three, so it will become two and array is ended. So we just simply return this candidate. and in any other case we will make another loop uh, another else condition as well if count is greater than n by 2 at any stage we will just simply return this candidate okay right 